History tells us that Christianity first arrived in Britain from the Mediterranean during the Roman occupation. It was an import, like the roads, the army, the drainage, and everything else. And its focus was in the cities. This was once the third largest city in Britain. By 300 AD, it very likely even had a bishop. But Christianity certainly wasn't a majority faith here. Right to the end, the pagan temples were in use. So when the empire collapsed, Christianity was vulnerable. Within a few decades, towns like Verulamium had been abandoned. And in most of the country, most of the basic things had vanished, like coinage and even writing. And along with the Roman Empire, Christianity had largely disappeared. It only managed to survive in a few isolated pockets. And this is one of them. Not here, in the Roman town, but over there. This great abbey is dedicated to one of the only Christian martyrs we know from Roman times, Saint Alban. He was beheaded in the third century. He's the first martyr, the first British martyr, the first one to die for the Christian faith that we know of anyway, um, in this country. So that makes him hugely important. People have worshipped on this spot for probably 1,750 years. So that's an extraordinary length of time. And there is something about the focus of prayer and devotion on this one spot over the ages that really does seem to make it holy. 